So we're back again with the man himself, VJ Bolos Garage, in a new car of some sorts. Of some sorts. Of some sorts. Yeah. Here to talk about his brand new BMW G80 M3. Second hand. Second hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, new, new to him. Yeah, new to me. <laughs> and all of the, the commentary and excitement that has been going on since this car has come to the island. I know a lot of viewers know about the car. I know some don't. So. I want to kick things off and just get to the basics. First off, why the G8 M3? You know, why this platform? You know, what, what what made you go with this? I know in the past you had the E36 M3, which is still around, and you also had the 340i, the F30. Right. Yeah. You know, now we're in this. Why why this car? I'm going to answer a question with a question. Why not the G80? Right. <laughs> it have everything. I mean, somebody say, "Oh, I don't, I don't like it because it's four wheel drive. It's boring. I can just put it on rear wheel drive and have fun. And then when I want the traction, I just put it back on four wheel drive." <laughs> All the creature comfort is there. The technology is there. I mean, is it right now to me still? Yeah. When you got this car, you know, you got it overseas. And yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What was your main goal in? wanting to have this platform just to do a 9 second pass with a quick bolt on okay achieve that on the drag gear already so when the next me keep next month kenty big up yourself we we'll try to get it official on paper mm. and then i mean that's it i've already hit the goal personal goal that i wanted with it okay. as i did with hitting the personal goal with the e36 which was to get a 10 second pass in it yeah so you know i'm i'm comfortable i'm good Nice, 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 nice. I don't know, you said it only takes like a few bolt ons. You know, what type of mods did you do to the car so far? To All right, um, it have on an intake, it have on a set of dump pipes, and it have on a tune. Okay, that's it. Yes. I know a lot of these newer BMWs, you have to get it unlocked. Is that right. what the route you went? Yeah, man, okay. one place, Finland. So they unlocked the DME for me. I have on the Bowman Tree tune on it. Orlando Auto Works. Okay. Big up the guys at Orlando Auto Works. Yeah, man. Big up on the set, man. Yeah, they give me good feedback. They give me good information. Do what we need to get done. Okay, nice, nice. So I know he's driving, you know, very smooth, very calm right now. One a little bit of a straight. One would say this is Mexico. Why Italy? Oh. She definitely gets up and goes, man. And then, you know, it's <laughs> cruise back, you know? Yeah, man. I mean, to be honest, bro, I've had a lot of BMWs over the years. Four wheel, rear wheel. I even have a front wheel drive BMW, you know? Yeah. You know? And I mean, this one checks all the boxes for me personally. Nice. So, since you got all the modifications done, wow. Well, I mean, they say all of modifications. It's a very small amount of stuff. Yeah. That's the thing that's so great about this platform. You don't have to do a lot feet because out of the box is a it's a it's a good it's like it's a monster yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean as of right now where it's at is how the car is performing do you want to push the bar any further or are you kind of happy where, where it's at right well, now? Go. rick and merrick them man they push the envelope <laughs> for we have a jamaican flag a fly high 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 yeah, man, big up m life <laughs> yeah big up m life big up m powerhouse mm. two yard man a monday you message them Anything you ask them, they might help you, you know? Nice, nice, nice. The setup can go lower, you know? Yeah. But I don't think I, I plan to do that. The car comfortable and thing I don't need to do, overdo it. But Dominic's car have on the sauce and Dominic's car should be able to push the envelope lower. And okay. as I keep telling people over and over, you know, I don't have to have the fastest one because when a BMW out there doing good, I feel good because it's the brand that I'm representing. Yeah. You have a lot of people that they don't, they don't see past that, you know? They yeah. don't see past that and 
create a lot of other issues but at the end of the day from a bit more a good time in Jamaica I feel good whether it's me or not absolutely and that my next car that's his the green yeah green man green yeah. goblin yeah, green okay. gambling it have uh, some sauce on it I don't want to disclose <laughs> all of the dog modification <laughs> but I keep saying just keep your eye out on that car that car might shock people the next meet yeah, and if he's interested in getting a feature you know definitely reach out we can make something happen yeah man so at the power level that it's at, I mean, where I'm not sure if you're dying on it or anything, where you estimate it to be? They're about seven. I mean, when the guys dying on it abroad, they make like between 720 to 740 yeah. thereabout. But I have no plans of dying on it because to dyno these cars, you need a link dyno. The four wheel drive dyno that we have here isn't a link dyno. Well, the dyno jet is not a link dyno. Okay. So, you can't dyno it. I mean, you have had people where you tell them you can't dyno it because. Um, it's gonna damage your transfer case and they don't listen and then they burn up the transfer case yeah. And then they're going to hide it and then they come back out okay. But you know, it's just because they never wanted to say I told you so <laughs> Yeah, but they're talking from experience still and I know what what the issue is yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I actually don't plan to dyno this car if it was a rear wheel drive Fine, I dyno it and even the rear wheel drive newer ones have a problem because the problem is the speed mm -hmm. That is not picking up on the front wheels Right now, this car is putting more of the power to the back. Well, if it's in four wheel drive sport, okay. if it's in just regular four wheel drive, it's like a 50 50 split. Okay. Or I just put it in rear wheel drive. And the tires you have on this right now are holding up pretty good. Yeah, man, I mean, I want to knit the front and back. The back ones are just thicker than the front. It's the NT 555R that are on the back. The front ones are just regular Invo or something like that. Oh, so this was this was the setup you ran when you did it at um yeah man at Vernum. just okay. how I went Vernum is just how we're driving right now okay nice 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 yeah man it's that as I tell you that's the amazing thing about it apart from the Tesla when you go down there how much other regular cars you see drive I mean yes yeah. this isn't a regular car but I just mean a regular car not a race car with a roll cage yeah, and yeah, yeah. like you know I, I just had my kids in the car driving and then I can just drive it to the racetrack and just nice, run nice 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 this is yeah. like the ultimate daily driver then. I mean, I tell you. <laughs> and it's four door, so it's practical, you yeah. know. Now, G80s have been one of the most popular, at least new BMWs on the market mm -hmm. right now. It's hard to get a four wheel yeah. drive um, M3 you now. You'll find the rear wheel drives, you'll find the standards, yeah. but the four wheel drives, yeah, man. And even harder. for folks out in them, I know it's like a good couple months for the waiting list. And then like out here well. in Jamaica, you can't get a regular four wheel drive M3 through the dealership because it's oh, not really? available in our region. Oh, wow. So for you to get it, you have basically to have to seats. order. Uh, no, if you want it through the dealership, yeah. you have to order a CS. And then they don't oh. give a lot of allocations for the CS. So yeah, a lot of people thinking to buy the left hand drive one to bring it in or get it themselves overseas in Europe and bring it yeah. here. One of the things that really kind of stood out to me, at least when I was watching all of the excitement at Burnham, is that you guys, you know, with the BMWs were bringing a lot of excitement because most of the time, at growing up is usually just dominated by a lot of the Japanese cars. Yeah, man. People want to see the Skylines, the Supras, etc. You know, I noticed that there's a lot of commentary and excitement around what you guys are doing for the sport right now. Yeah, man. Yeah. Because we've always loved cars, we've always loved BMWs, and I mean, I don't have a tunnel vision that's BMWs only, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate a lot of other Japanese cars, Evolutions, GTRs. I do, right? We just try and put our brand out there. Um, a lot, they have a lot of BMW enthusiasts now that have decided that hey, they will come out, come and run them car and there's still a lot of them that you don't even see at the track and you don't even know what's really packing underneath yeah, yeah, yeah. those cars We made our presence felt then yeah, because yeah. when they started the first two meets it was a Euro versus Japs meet and yeah, yeah. the Japs were dominating first meet the second meet I'd say was like a 50-50 split and then this meet I would say the Europeans dominated more this time around yeah. it's good it's good to see a lot of BMWs coming out and showing up and taking some runs and all of that you know yeah and at the end of the day it should be fun you know I noticed that a lot of people they get very caught up you know with the egos and you know trying to bring yeah. some type of bad mind to the sport but really and truly yeah. at the end of the day it's not like people winning these races are winning a ton of money you know it's really trophy bragging rights and then you remember and one thing fun. the ones that are doing the talking and the undermining and all of that them do race it's not like them them race you ask them for your time slip them can't even show your time <laughs> slip but yeah. them have the most to say yeah, yeah, yeah. you know if a man have a 12 second time slip, he have a time slip. So you say a man 12 second time slip and say his car is slow. 
I mean, the man comfortable in car 12 seconds is not slow. Yeah. And it's a lot to really put yourself out here and say, yo, yeah, man, I'm gonna race, I'm gonna put myself on the line. Gosh, take nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when this whole thing did start off, it was, oh, Mark X versus BMW. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that whole saga, and realize that, you know, the whole Mark X BMW thing kind of just dead down there, you know. Yeah, them still await upon the thousand horsepower one from a bridging still. Yeah, big up yeah, yeah, yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a bridging for real, you know, so yeah, separate man. apart from all of the gimmicks, you know. I'm a bridging. Funny enough, if you look behind us now, guess what's behind us trying to follow us so. up? Oh, the infamous Mark X guys. Bro, I'm talk too early. <laughs> As I talk, a Mark X pull up. Roll on, chill out, dog. Oh, man. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a 250G. Come on, bro. Stay in your lane, dog. Don't need it to do nothing stupid to try, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, you anticipate more deities coming down to that? Yes, man. Yeah, yes, man. man. I can't talk, but a couple of them coming. Right. A couple of them coming, man. A couple of them coming. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to all of the excitement in the next couple of months. You guys have to definitely stay tuned. have it one of the baddest GT M3s in Jamaica currently really enjoyed filming this content today and big ups are always to the man himself VJ Ballers Garage definitely looking forward to a lot more excitement to come out of the GT camp in Jamaica if you guys are interested in content like this I want to see some more car features as usual we know we're going to give you guys the biggest baddest meanest machines in Jamaica in Florida and as usual you know that it will be something to look forward to now I won't lie, VJ is really convincing me to do a GAC build. I'm not sure as yet. Again, I'm still not 100% sold on the looks, but trust me, the performance is all there. Give you guys a quick glimpse of the interior. He has nice red and black comfort seats, carbon fiber trim throughout. This is the automatic version, as you guys should know, because it is the X-Drive digital display again all the creature comforts you would like ambient lighting harman card and sound system perfect wouldn't do anything to it now for those of you who are interested in seeing more content like this as usual make sure you subscribe to motor gear tv tune into bowler's garage for all of updates on his build and for all of the new builds to come now as we head back into kingston we are going to give you guys a couple more pulls but Again, as usual, we know to have to have the big man Vijay on the vlog as usual. Big ups. Respect. As well, for allowing us to film the machine. I know not too many people have gotten to feature it, but I'm glad that you know I can always get to come down from Florida and feature the machine. And yeah, it's, a good, it's a good look for the scene. I really respect everything that you're doing. You get me? G8 is performing. We have the fastest BMW in Jamaica, guys. Bowler's Garage did it. We have people spending a lot of money to catch us too. Yeah. <laughs> So, I'll stay tuned for more updates as usual. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of flybys, and that's gonna be it for now. Until then, guys, we're gone.
honestly hope everybody appreciates the things that I'm willing to do to get these shots for y'all. And if, again, if you're not doing so as yet, make sure you subscribe to Motor Gear TV. Because me putting myself on the line is for each and every one of y'all. Yeah.